Okay, by popular demand, we, we'll, we'll, we'll sprinkle in some more fun formats here from time to time. And for today's video, we have a 4v4. Now, I did request they be thematics. We have the demons, Slanesh, Korn, Zinch, and Nurgle, fighting up against the more mortal bad guys of the Ogre Kingdoms, Dark Elves, Greenskins, and Skaven. We do have Ultra Funds again, so you'll notice that the armies are a lot larger than you'd be used to in quick battles. Oh, oh, is it going to load it? Do we have to restart? Nope, we're good. Oh my god, it is so many units. <laughs> it's, it's just so many. Alright, for the forces of the mortal bad guys... We do have an Eshen Sorcerer for Skaven. Warp Stars and Brittle Bone. What else did the Skaven bring? Let's just focus on them. Warp Fire Throwers, Throt the Unclean, a Packmaster, the Thing Thing. Then we have Doom Flayers, a front line of Storm Vermin, Halberds, and Sword and Shields. A bunch of Warp Fire Throwers, and that's about it. We brought Dark Elves as well. Rickarts in here, Sorceress of Death with, looks like... Aspect of the Dread Knight and Doom and Darkness. All very good against the demons. A bunch of harpies. Giant wolves. Oh, those are campaign exclusive units. And then we have a triple gold chevron charybdis duo. Some bleak swords. More bleak swords. More giant wolves. That looks like it for the dark elves. Ochre Kingdoms have a whole bunch of Mornfang Cav. I see eight Mornfang Cav. Three or four man eaters, two hunters on foot, Nabar Scrap Launcher, and a Tyrant. The Ogres didn't bring a caster at all. Interesting. And for the Greenskins, we have Double Feral Wyvern, Orc Shaman with just Foot of Gork, and some Doom Diver Catapults, some Savage Orc Arboys, Black Orcs, Grimgore. That's about it. On the demon side, what is going on? Slanesh brought a whole bunch of calves, Skirmish Cav and Hellstriders, Nakari, Demonettes, and then Fiends and the Eternal Entourage Heartseekers. So, quite a lot of Cav for Slanesh. Nurgle, looks like they brought Tarmacon, Tamarcon, whatever, Uncle Frunkle, Deathcaster, Barons of the Bog, Bilious Thunderguff. And then a bunch of Nurglings, Marauders, Festering Stooges, and Plague Ogres. Alright, pretty intense stuff there. More Seekers and Fiends of Slanesh. Corn brought a whole bunch of infantry. Marauders of Corn, Bloodletters of Corn, Exalted Bloodletters of Corn, Chaos Warriors and Chosen, and Scarbrand, and the Herald of Corn's Fury? No, it's Corn's Bloody Fist. My bad, I got your name wrong, ROR. Then finally for Zinch, we have the Changeling. Blue Scribes, Double Changebringers, then Screamers, Marauders, Marauders of Spears, the Severed Claw, and some Chaos Knights. Cool, cool. What does the Changeling turn into this game? It's Scarbrand. We'll have two Scarbrands. Very nice. The fight is off. Fiends and Scarbrand jumping straight in to try and deal with uh, the Storm Vermin and the Dwarf Thing Menace, the Doomfire Warlocks? No, that's stupid of me. The Doom Flayers. Okay. It wasn't as stupid as I thought it might have been. Hornfang Cab getting into a fight with Chaos Furies and Heart Seekers of Slanesh. Looks like Tarmacon's coming over to offer a bit of support. I know I said it wrong. It's so hard to say it correctly because his correct name is so stupid compared to the name I made up for him. It's just much better. What's going on over here? Farm Transitation from one of the two chain blue scribes? Never mind. The Changeling Scarbrand. We talked about that. We discussed that. It's fine. As the Changebringers delete a Warp Fire Thrower on, on one shot, and then Chaos Furies will just finish him off. But, oh god, that's going to be so much friendly fire. Ah, you hate to see it. Demons betraying demons. What's new? On this top side, the Cavalry of the Red Mortal Factions is uh, far superior to what Slanesh brought. As Slanesh is fighting the Alliance of Three all alone. There's no other demonic cav up here. So that'll be a bit of a loss. Something terrible happened over here. It looks like a foot of Gork came out and hit the Bringers of Galman and these Hellstriders. So yeah, this, uh, let's, let's deem this the southern flank. Southern flank's going pretty well for the Mortal Faction. How's it, uh, how's the top side? Not good. Not good at all. So in the north, Nurgle, 
is overrunning the Ogre Kingdoms, and Korin's front line is beating up on the Skaven pretty bad, like getting a whole bunch of kills for Korin. Already the Eshen Sorcerer is out of here. And Nurgle's favorite son has popped on Tamarkan, so we can fight the Mornfang Cab. Maybe with some Fiend support here, too. The Ogre Kingdoms' Noblars are routing. It's a bit of a toughie, but speaking of a bit of a toughie, the Changeling's in for a bad time. He gets a fecundity from Nurgle. Nurgle trying to help him out, keep his Scarbrand in the fight. But Korn's Bloody Fist also having a bad time against the Thing Thing and Throt and these Hunters. The Changeling Scarbrand is going down rather quickly. And the Wyverns are busy hunting down the Changebringers, making sure that those guys don't get to fly around for free. So, okay. Single entities of the Mortal Faction starting to do some good work in here. Thing Thing even got some remolded for healing and more melee stats. I imagine Scarbrand might have done a number on it, and therefore it needed the healing. I don't know, but the Changebringers are gone. I'm very curious if Scarbrand, Korn's Bloody Fist, get out of here. This is a crazy amount of Korn infantry, however, and I suppose that is concerning for the Thing Thing, which is now rampaging into all of them. It gets a couple shots onto Korn's Bloody Fist, but... Yeah, if they don't get any help, the Korn infantry will drag them onto the ground. Screamer's trying to kill off the Feral Wyverns, but... It's not going to matter too much. What's happening here? What's going to cast through all these guys? Oh, it's that, like, cool sky cannon thing from Hunters that doesn't do that much damage. All right. Looking somewhere else for a moment. Dark Elves are doing just fine on the top side, and all of the green skin ranged is getting into position to keep firing in. I'm trying to keep an eye on the Changeling as he does die, which will be really bad for the forces of Zinch. Or is that the real Scarbrand? That might be the real Scarbrand. Yeah, it is. Changing Scarbrand's way over here. Oh, so Corn just lost their lord. Okay, it's not as bad, honestly. Corn is fine without their leadership. Over on the Nurgle flank, paired with some Slanesh cavalry, they have routed all of the Ogre Kingdoms units and are pushing those guys away. Skaven are also in a really bad way. Skaven are not feeling good. Throth the Unclean is about to rout as the bringers of Beguilement. I thought they were around here. I guess it's just the Heartseekers and the Fiends, but I thought the ROR Demonettes were around here somewhere. Anyway, Changeling Scarbrand plus all these Slanesh units going to run down Throt. With his 90 speed, he is trying to get out of here. We'll see if he can actually make it to safety or not. And what can the Mortal Forces do up on the top side? They've gotten some big wins. Rakarth is still very healthy, as is the Charybdis. Slicing Shards, I imagine, is getting cast here. That takes a long time to cast. Anyway, big slicing charts. It's all those guys. Does a little little bit of damage. Good pokes. Greenskins still have a lot of range left to them. The Doom Divers are currently firing at the Eternal Entourage. I really don't know how much damage they'll do. Uh, Doom Divers are one of the most underwhelming things of all time. But an Overcast Doom and Darkness trying to take out a lot of these demonic units. Going to get these Blood Letters to all start crumbling with that minus 16 leadership. That was actually really clutch. Nice stuff there. In comes all the Doom Divers. Doing very little damage. As Rakarth tries to duel the changeling version of Scarbrand. Mount's power is about 50 50. We do have some mortal forces trying to rally in the backfield. Throt somehow came back. And he is going to run away and get some healing as the giant wolves and dark riders move up to peel a little bit there. And how is this central fight of absolute chaos and silliness going? Changeling's taking some damage as he's dealing with Karth. Did not work out for him. He's going to back off now. A lot of demonic units are falling apart over here. But the Nurgle single entity squad is here to play. Billy is Thunderguff and uh, Uncle Frunkle slipping through here. Grimgore even takes a Spirit Leech. Gehenna's Golden Hounds are ripping through. There they are. They're ripping through the mortal forces. They must have come from the Blue Scribes. As Karth tries to stay in here, but it looks like the Changeling keeps getting heals off and on by Nurgle. The Demonic Gods pairing up quite well. Throt is under attack by Marauder Horseman of Slanesh. Maybe he can win out on that, but the Marauder Horseman of Slanesh are ITP, so he can't use his terror to kind of cheese them out. He has to actually beat them. As the Feral Wyvern bros are actually still both alive. I'll be honest, I'm surprised. But they'll keep going after Screamers together for a while. And now the forces of evil are starting to pull ahead on the balance of power. Another overcast of Doom and Darkness gonna get a lot of these Marauders to rout. These are not demonic units, though. There are some demons in here, but they're not all demonic units, so it's not like a free win. And he's trying to pair it up with the Charybdis. Uh, minus 8 leadership, minus 16 leadership. So this is minus 24 leadership for everything around the Charybdis in this blob. 
But now Rakarth is in trouble. Hunted down by Korn's Bloody Fist. Billy is thundering up on his other side if Billius notices this is going on and walks over here. That could be pretty bad as Black Orcs and Crimson Killers trying to fight at Rakarth's feet to help get rid of these guys. The Doom and Darkness plus Charybdis combo is going to get rid of one of the Blood Letters unless these guys can rally soon. The Demonic Instability is dragging them to the depths of hell. Looks like it will not save them. Farside Throt did survive. Maybe keeping the Skaven in the fight, though honestly I don't think there are any Skaven left in the fight. I guess it's just the Thing Thing. Thing Thing is here trying to kill the Barons of the Bog. Fighting Marauders too. And Rakarth, do you have Breath Attacks? Oh man. Looks like he might. He is trying to use one just as a Rampage hits, forcing him to stop and fight Korn's Bloody Fist, who's more than up to the task of killing off Rakarth. And Nakari's going to dive in and kill Grimdor, who was trying to fight the Changeling, and looks like he was doing a great job of it. Oh my god, Grimdor. Yeah, 1900 value on the Grimdor. Wow. Alright, we take those. Corn's Bloody Fist losing a 2v1 in the sky with Rakarth, but Rakarth's just trying to hang on long enough to kill off this big guy. And there is a foot of Gork poking down the Festering Stooges, but they didn't take as much damage down as he would have expected. Rakarth fighting at the end against Quartz Bloody Fist, who is Demonic Instability Crumbling. Can he get one more shot on Rakarth? He does. Does not kill the Beast Lord. Takes him super, super low. Soul Blight hits all the Black Orcs. We have a double Charybdis fight versus Bilius Thunderguff and Uncle Frunkle, and the Charybdises should actually win this. They should. They don't have healing, but they're... Very good anti-large duelists. And Dark Elf supports all over. Karth even diving in, I guess. Doesn't give a shit about his wounded state. Just wants to get a bit of a fight off. Elsewhere, Greenskins have been shut down. And yeah, the Reds are just running out of, uh... Running out of juice. Running out of real strong lads to do the fighting. Gaze of Mork takes out Rakarth as the slicing shards. It's all the Dark Elf forces sending them to rout, leaving just the Charybdis behind. The Charybdis, even with gold chevrons, have pretty pathetic leaderships. We'll see how long they even feel like staying in the fight. And the Skaven did not do very much. I feel like the Skaven army contributed the least. Is Throt... <laughs> Throt's out there still running around. He's gotten 1,500 value from something, but he's just... Trying to get away from all the forces of Slanesh. That is the end of the poor rat. As he's now surrounded and getting beat up on all sides, he does rout, taking him off the field. Changeling version of Scarbrand has died. Blue Scribes are still very healthy, though. Where is Tamarcon? I feel like I haven't seen Tamarcon all fight. There he is, three quarters HP, and Akari is full HP, beating up on Tyrant. That'll probably be GG, army losses will hit, because there's just too many demons left for two Charybdis to kill them all. Another foot of Gork comes out, gets some good damage onto some of the Cornate forces. Just as army loss comes in, the thing thing's still fighting in the background. 2,000 value for him. Demons away. Demons OP. Nakari got 4,300 value. Bringers of Gallant. Not doing great. Eternal Entourage, 2,900 is pretty good. The other Heartseeker, also 3,300. Fiends did okay. One of them did better than the others. And then Slanesh's Mobility had a field day. I'm just looking for anything that stands out. Nurgle had some spread out value. Yeah. More general. For Nerd, his changing scar brand, 3,100 value. Not bad. 2,400 on his uh, blue scribes. His change bringers all got murdered by wyverns. One of his screamers did well, the other ones got rolled. And then for Jay, his scar brand died very quickly, but Korn's Bloody Fist more than made up for it with 3,700. Chaos Warriors doing fine. Blood Letters doing okay. Yeah, they did solid. Alright, that's it for the demons. The other side, Tequila Sunset. The Greenskins, his Wyverns did okay. Grimgore did pretty well, considering it's Grimgore. Doom Diver Catapult sucked and died. I mean, they got to fire for a long time, still didn't achieve anything. 
his foot of gork caster did the best but yeah i think like the green skin army was just too silly doom divers are terrible for Pegas, this tyrant got 1800 value, which I've never seen before. It's man eater pistols. Oof. Only one of them did well. Hunters did okay. Mornfang Cav, by and large, just got slaughtered. I know this is a silly 4v4 game, but I do. I like. I have really soured on Mornfang Cav in the last three or four patches. They just feel like they suck. I don't take them at all anymore. Rider of Rohan. Scribdisses did okay. Their leadership debuff was nice. Rakarth did fine. Coldrum Dreadnights did terribly. Giant Wolves didn't do that great either. And then for Skaven's greatest best, yes, yes. Oof, Ashen Sorcerer's zero value. I apparently didn't get a, any spells up before he died. Doom Flayers also all died horribly. Storm Vermin also all died horribly. Well, one of the Halberds did okay. Warfire Throwers also died horribly, so yeah, it was just Throt and the Hell Pit did okay. And that's it for the Skaven. GG's, lads. GG's. Rawr. Subscribe, yes, yes.